again and welcome back to my channel. Today we are making part 3 of the Sweet Lilac Crochet Along. Let's jump right in. Just as a reminder, my squares are going to be 5 blocks by 5 blocks, but yours will be 7 by 7. If you are just joining us and want more information about this crochet along, see the link in the description below. For this video, I've just filmed the start of each square and any tricky parts. You can pause and rewatch any part. I'll put time stamps down below. For block two, we are starting in the bottom left corner of block number one, but I'm going to rotate it here so it's at the top. That way I don't have to crochet upside down. You'll need to chain three. Then turn it back over. Slip stitch into the space between the first and second tile. Chain three again. Turn and then make three double crochets in that chain three space. Then just continue on in the pattern and we'll join again at the end of the next row. All right, so when you need to join the next row, you're going to slip stitch again between the next two tiles. Then chain three, slip stitch in the next space, chain three again, and then turn. And make three double crochets in that first chain three space that we made. Then you'll just repeat this sequence to finish out your block. Block number three starts at the top left corner of block two. I'm going to turn and rotate so we are set up correctly. You'll need to chain six Turn again, and then double crochet in the fourth, fifth, and sixth chain. Now this is your row one, which we're going to join to block number two by slip stitching between those um, those tiles there. Then to start the next row you'll chain three again. Slip stitch into the next space, chain up three, turn. 
turn and make three double crochets in that chain three space. You'll repeat this sequence until you have finished your block. All right, now we're going to move on to block number four, which starts in the bottom left corner of block number three. We're going to continue on with our, with our main color. I'm just going to flip this block back over so our bottom is at the top. chain three to start, slip stitch in the space between the tiles, chain three again, and turn and make three double crochets in the chain three space. And continue on with the pattern and then to join your next row you'll slip stitch in this next space between the tiles, chain three, slip stitch in the next space, chain three again, then you'll turn and make three double crochets in that chain three space. And then just repeat this sequence to finish out your block. Remember, you can pause and rewind this video at any time. All right, we finished our first row. Block number five is next. We are gonna start in the top right corner of block number one. To start this block, you'll chain six. double crochet in the fourth, fifth, and sixth chain. Now join your, we need to join this uh, row we just finished to our block number one. And we do that with a slip stitch between the tiles. I'm sure you've probably caught on to that by now. Chain three, slip stitch into the next space. chain up three, now turn, and make three double crochets in that first chain three space. And that's how we start a new row. So just continue the sequence until your block's all done. Now we're going to start block number six. That starts in the corner of block number five. Now this one's a little different because we're going to be joining at each end. 
pick a space and join your yarn with a slip stitch. And chain three. Slip stitch into the first space of block number two. Chain three again. Turn. And make three double crochets in that chain three space. Now you're going to have to join this this block to this tile, excuse me, to block number 5. And to do that, we're just going to slip stitch between that space between the tiles on number 5. Then to start a new row, we'll chain 3. Slip stitch into the next space. Chain 3 again. And turn and make three double crochets in that first chain three space. Now you're just going to continue on with your row. And then you have to join it to block number two. And you're just going to slip stitch in between the, those tiles again. Chain three. Slip stitch in the next space. Chain three again. Then turn, oops, and make three double crochets in that chain three space. Now you're just going to repeat this sequence for the rest of the block. Feel free to pause and rewind as you need. All right, block number seven. We're going to start this block in the top left corner of block 6. We're going to continue on using the same color that you ended block 6 with. Mine is white, but yours will probably be one of your coordinating colors. Alright, to get started, you're going to chain 3. Just going to rotate. There we go. Chain 3. Slip stitch in the space between the tiles. Chain three again. And then you'll turn. And make three double crochets in the chain three space. Then just continue on with your row and now to join your next row you're just going to slip stitch in the space between the tiles in the next open space chain three 
then slip stitch into the next space. Chain three again. Then turn. And make three double crochets in that first chain three space. And follow this sequence until it's time to start your last increasing row. This is where it gets a little tricky. Remember, you can pause and rewind as many times as you need. Join your new color with the slip stitch between the tiles. You'll slip, sorry, you'll chain three and then slip stitch into the corner. It can be any any of the spaces between the tiles. I'm just going to rotate here for a minute. Then chain three again. Slip stitch into that next space between the tiles on block number three. Then you're going to turn and make three double crochets into that chain three space. There's a better visual, visual for this on block number 10. I'll put a timestamp below. Block 8 starts in the top left corner of block number 7. Join your yarn and chain 6. Just going to rotate a second so it's in the right spot and then you're going to double crochet in the fourth, fifth, and sixth chain. You're going to join this row to block number seven with a slip stitch between the first and second tile. To start a new row, you'll chain three, slip stitch into the next space between the tiles, Chain three again, then you'll turn your work and 
and make three double crochets in the chain three space. You're going to follow that sequence until you're ready to end your last increasing row. Now we're going to join your last tile to the corner and then to block four. Slip stitch through the space between the tiles in the corner. You can pick any space, it doesn't really matter, it's, it's just your preference. Then chain three. Then you're going to slip stitch through the space between the tiles on block four and the chain three space in the last tile that you made. Start your next row, chain three, slip stitch into the next space, turn, and make three double crochets in the chain three space from your previous tile. And then just repeat this sequence for the rest of the block. Now you've finished the first two rows. If you are enjoying this tutorial, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'll be uploading new videos every week. Let's start block number nine. Join your yarn with a slip stitch in the corner, in the top left corner of block number five. You'll chain three to start. After you chain three, turn your work, and slip stitch into the space between the tiles. Chain up three, turn again. and make three double crochets in that chain three space. Now continue on with the pattern and to join row two, you'll make a, you'll slip stitch into that next space between the tiles and then start row three by making a chain three, slip stitch into the next space, chain three again, turn, and make three double crochets in that first chain three space. Just repeat this sequence and finish up your block.
Block number 10 starts in the top left corner of block 9. I'm just going to rotate this to make it easier to work with. And then in the top left corner of block number 9, you're going to chain 3. Then slip stitch into that next space between the tiles, chain three again, then turn, and make three double crochets in that chain three space. Then just continue on in the pattern. Alright, let's join our next row. Slip stitch between the in the space between the next two tiles. And then to start the next row, you'll chain three slip stitch into the next space chain three again turn and make three double crochets in that chain three space. You're just going to continue this sequence until you're ready to start your last increasing row. All right, so on your last increasing row, you're going to slip stitch in the space between the next two tiles. chain 3, slip stitch in any corner space, chain 3 again, now you're going to slip stitch between the t first and second tile on block number 6. So you should have what looks like a little box there. Now turn, which gets a little bit more complicated as your piece grows. And then make three double crochets in that chain three space. Then just continue on in the pattern. All right, to join your next row, you're going to slip stitch in any corner space, chain three, and then slip stitch through the next space between the tiles and the chain three space from the last tile that you made. Chain three, slip stitch in the next space, turn, And 
make three double crochets in the chain three space from your last tile. So just follow this sequence for the rest of the square. Remember you can pause and rewind as many times as you need. This is one of the more trickier joins in, in this whole crochet along. All right, and for some reason, block 11 did not get recorded. Gotta love technology, but no worries because this block is the same as block six. The timestamp will be in the description. Let's move on to block 12. This block starts in the bottom left corner of block 11. Join your yarn with a slip stitch and chain three. We'll attach this block to block block 11. To do this, we need to turn slip stitch into that space between the tiles. Chain three. Turn again and make three double crochets in that chain three space. Now we need to attach our row to block number eight. So as you can probably guess, we're going to slip stitch in that space between the tiles. chain three, slip stitch in the next space, chain three again. I'm just going to rotate here and we're going to have to turn and make three double crochets in that chain three space. Just continue on with your row. And then once we get back to block 11, you're gonna have to follow that same sequence. So we'll join with a slip stitch into that space between the tiles. Chain three. slip stitch into the next space, chain three again, then turn, and make three double crochets in that chain three space. You're just going to continue on like this for the rest of this square. Now it's time to start our last row. How's your block turning out? Let me know in the comments. Block 13 starts in the top right corner of block 9. Let me zoom in here. So join your yarn in the corner and chain six. Then double crochet in the fourth, fifth, and sixth chain.
you're going to join this row to block number nine by making a slip stitch between the tiles. Then to start the next row, you'll chain three. Slip stitch into the next space between the tiles. Chain three again. Then turn. and make three double crochets in that chain three space. You're just going to continue this sequence for the rest of the block. Block 14 starts in the top left corner of block 13. We're going to continue using our main color. So chain six to start. Then double crochet in the fourth, fifth, and sixth chain. I'm sure you know the drill by now. To join your block to, let's see, your tile to block number 13, slip stitch in that first space between the tiles. And then chain three, slip stitch into the next space, chain three again, turn, and make three double crochets in that chain three space. This starts you off on your next row. So just continue like this for the rest of the pattern until you get to the end of your last increasing row. This is one of those trickier joins. So you're gonna slip stitch in any space in the corner chain three. All right, so after you chain three, then you have to join your tile at the top there. So to do that, you're going to slip stitch through the space between the tiles and through the chain three space. Then chain three again to start a new row slip stitch into the next space between the tiles, turn, and make three double crochets in that chain three space from your last tile. Just continue on in this way for the rest of the block. Block 15 starts in the bottom left corner of block 14. Join your yarn with a slip stitch and chain three. Pick whatever space you want. chain three, and then turn, which is very not graceful on video. <laughs> Slip stitch into the next space between the tiles, 
chain three again, turn, and make three double crochets in that chain three space. All right, now we need to join our row to block number 11. As you can guess, we are probably, we are gonna do, not probably, we are going to slip stitch this little block between this, in the space between the tiles. Then chain three, slip stitch into the next space, chain three again, and then turn, and make three double crochets in that chain three space. Now continue your row and we'll join here. We're gonna slip stitch in that space between the tiles, chain three, slip stitch in the next space, chain three again, turn, and make three double crochets in that chain three space. Now just continue this way, connecting your rows at both ends to both blocks. Beginning of block 16 did not record again, but it is the same as block 14. It starts with a chain six. If you need help, there's a timestamp for block 14 in the description. Let's continue with block 16. At the end of row seven, join with a slip stitch in any corner space. Chain three. Now we're going to change color and join the top of our tile to, let's see, block number 12. So we're gonna slip stitch through that space between the tiles and the chain three space from our last one with our new color. chain three. Now we're starting a new row. Slip stitch into that space between the next two tiles. Turn. Make three double crochets in that chain three space. Just continue this pattern to finish your block. And that's it, you did it. Part four of this crochet along will be out next week. Subscribe to my channel and hit that bell to get notified when I upload the next video. Thanks for watching.